इज नो एंड टू लर्निंग बट दर मैनी बिगनिंग्स नमस्कार आप देख रहे हैं नेशन लाइफ और मैं हूँ आपके साथ रवीना नेशन लाइफ की जो ड्राइव है नो योर स्कूल उसको आगे बढ़ाते हुए अभी हम जी डी गोइंग का पब्लिक स्कूल रोहिणी में बैठे हैं जी डी गोइंग का पब्लिक स्कूल रोहिणी की प्रिंसिपल के साथ मिस अनुराधा पंत नमस्कार मैम वेलकम टू आर चैनल सो We want to start with the question, like, what are the challenges? Do you think we are facing in education right now in India? Currently? Yeah. Post COVID? Yeah, you can talk even pre COVID, post COVID, every challenges. See, uh, the things have changed. The pre COVID scenario was very different, and the post COVID scenario is quite different. When we were in pre COVID era, I would say I call it an era because this is something which none of us had even thought about. So at that time. we were more focused on skill based learning how to uh, integrate technology into the classroom bringing technology in the classroom but covid brought the technology to each and every child and the education reached each and every home the classrooms reached the homes there was the, my children always tease me ma'am you always used to say don't carry the phone <laughs> now you always ask us where is your phone because when we have online classes we are totally dependent on phone and technical gadgets yeah. so things have changed the perceptions have changed the methodologies have changed but yes covid has taught us how to have a hybrid learning mm. and it has you know brought about lots of good things mm. the videos the process of teaching via uh, medium of uh, technology has brought in so much of change in the children the only drawback i see is that there is a lot of emotional barrier in the children which we now have to overcome of course there are a little bit of learning gaps here and there because they were more into technological era they were less on the writing skills yes that has to be overcome but i wouldn't say that covid was a bad phase it was a learning phase for all of us including the teachers including me including my children to abhi covid chala gaya hai bacche normally schools mein aane lage hain dobara schools ki jo pace hai dheere dheere usi speed se aage badh rahi hai to jo challenges humne face kiya apne bola ki zyada negative to nahi hai positive point hai but still negative points bhi itne मतलब इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि उनको भी हमें देखना पड़ेगा तो कैसे ओवरकम कैसे करेंगे इन सब सिचुएशंस को दोबारा उसी चीज पे उन्हीं बच्चों को वही इमोशनल सपोर्ट देना वही फिजिकल इंटरेक्शन देना उनका जो अटेंशन है उतनी अटेंशन वो क्लासरूम में दे पा रहे नहीं दे रहे उन चीजों को कैसे ओवरकम कर पाएंगे किड्स केम बैक द टीचर्स वेर अवेलेबल फॉर दैम वी हैव अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वन टू वन मेंटोरिंग एंड वी हैव अ पियर ट्यूटरिंग इन द क्लास वेर अ चाइल्ड हैज अ बडी so we integrate those two bodies so the the social bond which was missing during this online phase yeah. the children are connecting to their friends they are able to relate and obviously when you talk to your friend there are many things you talk when you find your teacher around physically present for your needs you are able to connect more to your teacher the drawback that we were seeing that the children had put on little weight because they were always at home kids were not allowed to go out and play now every day morning they come they have their yoga aerobics sports activity planned as per their schedule and timetable so that their energies are channelized in a proper positive manner okay. life skill and emotional bonding has become an integral part of their day to day learning every subject teacher every class teacher devotes the 10 minutes of their periods in connecting and bonding with their children we are back to the track where the children are confiding more in the teachers than anybody else they are trusting their teachers they are connecting with their teachers they are connecting with their friends so they are coming out of that emotional um, hibernation which they had undergone for 2 years they are becoming more vocal they are coming out they are blossoming like butterflies hmm. i would say they are they are growing okay. so they are now back to the school okay so you talked about physical activities yeah 
कोविड के टाइम की अगर हम बात करें तो सबको पता है सब चीजें कि कोविड में कोई भी बच्चा था शायद ही वो अपने फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज पे ध्यान दे पाया तो जो आपका स्कूल है अगर हम जी डी गोइंग पब्लिक स्कूल की बात करें तो कैसे बच्चों को फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज में लाइक like, इंस्पायर करते हैं उनको उनमें आगे आने के लिए फिर एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर जो एक्टिविटीज है उनको कैसे फोकस करते हैं विद थोरिटिकल नॉलेज सी वी हैव इंटीग्रेटेड एक्टिविटीज इन देयर करिकुलम इट्स नॉट दैट यू हैव टू गिव देम वन एक्टिविटी सेपरेटली every subject teacher has incorporated art into their classroom in their subject okay. so when a child is learning say for example if i'm learning science okay. i'm not confined to the four wall of my class my teacher takes me out there is a butterfly garden outside they have their own uh, you know organic uh, garden okay. which they maintain themselves so the teacher takes them there explains the parts of the plant or whatever the topic is going on the children have also come up with vermi composting in the school premises okay. we have rain water harvesting okay. so we don't sit in the classroom and teach science we take them outside if it is uh, experiential learning we bring the experiments inside the classroom uh, in hindi and english we have debates we have uh, you know the plays the children go out and explore and create their own poetry then we have poem in the classroom okay. so it's like you do not confine their thoughts hmm. they need to think out of the box right. we take them out right. right in the morning they have arabics like i said yeah, yeah. so it is part of their timetable hmm. and when it comes to integrating activity each and every subject teacher each and every teacher has integrated all these activities which we call experiential learning in their curriculum so the child doesn't feel that he is doing something else it is part of his topic if i have to do measurement i cannot sit in the classroom and do measurement definitely we take them out we take them to a place where the things are measured in huge weighing scales we go to those vendors we go to the market we take our children they learn Okay, this okay. This is for one kg. This is for you know yeah. half a kg. Yeah, yeah. So they learn, mm -hmm. and what they learn by seeing, the what they learn by doing, they retain it lifelong. So practical knowledge, we have. You have told us how much we focus on practical knowledge. So what do you think? A student in life, how important is knowledge in theoretical knowledge? We all, I mean, today, if we talk about India, we all have understood the importance of practical knowledge. Is important. Very important. But, What about theoretical knowledge? उसको हम कितना पीछे छोड़ सकते हैं उसको हम कैसे बैलेंस आउट कर सकते हैं प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज सी प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो डाउट बट वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड अ कॉन्सेप्ट यू नीड टू रिटेन इट यू नीड टू पुट इट डाउन ऑन पेपर दैट इज वेर वेर योर थियोरी थियोरिटिकल नॉलेज कम्स इन हैंडी वेन यू नो हाउ टू राइट आई मे नॉट हैव एन इंक्लिनेशन फॉर साइंस आई मे नॉट हैव एन इंक्लिनेशन फॉर मे बी मैथ्स but i am excellent in writing skills so why can't i pursue my writing ability so when i have the writing skills modified in the classroom as part of my learning so i may become a wonderful writer writing learning by practical and theory they go hand in hand okay so we would ask like what about your journey what about your journey as a principal in your school how has it been oh it's wonderful you know when the children come out uh, and say that ma'am we missed you for 2 years it makes up my uh, time and it makes my day when they come and say ma'am you're looking very pretty so these small compliments from the te children and when they come and hug you in the morning and they say ma'am we missed you ma'am good morning it brings a cheer in our lives so this journey i wouldn't trade with anything no matter what this is the beautiful profession and a wonderful journey to have okay so when we were starting the school when we were like uh, calling children to come in the school what are the special points you provide to them to attract them to the school uh, from day one when we uh, when the when our management decided to open this school the vision that they have and the vision that we have now is same we have not diverted from our vision our vision is to give holistic development to the children and make them wonderful individuals best indians and a global citizen okay the target is to strive for the best okay and we don't compromise on that 
for us only academics is not everything okay. the moral values hmm. uh, emotional quotient it all should be balanced in a human being yeah. so we do not produce only the brilliant minds hmm. we produce wonderful human beings hmm. so moral values such a heavy word आजकल के अगर हम स्कूल्स की बात करें एजुकेशन सिस्टम की बात करें तो वही है एजुकेशन पे ध्यान दिया जा रहा है प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज थियोटिकल नॉलेज वॉट अबाउट द एथिकल वैल्यूज वट अबाउट द मोरल वैल्यूज सो वट इज योर स्कूल फॉर डूइंग फॉर दैट थिंग सी आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट मॉरल वैल्यूज इज नॉट समथिंग विच यू टीच बाय बुक्स इट इज समथिंग विच यू शो टू द चिल्ड्रन एंड दे इम्बाइब इन देयर डेली लाइफ इफ वी आर in front of the students we have a habit of thanking all our support staff so they have learnt that habit i don't have to tell them you need to thank everybody they are helping you they have learnt it because they have seen us if there is a paper lying my teachers we whoever is passing by picks up that paper so that habit they are seeing this habit happening we wish each other in the morning they have learnt it so we always believe that our behavior our outlook our approach is something which our children imbibe into themselves knowingly unknowingly yeah. our behavior is reflected in their behavior yeah. so that is something which we are very clear about that our behavior should be that of a role model which the child can see okay. so i'll take the last question from you as we are concluding an interview the school what are the issues we are facing right now in india on education what are the things we can do for the children to overcome these things like a student only a student if we focus about just one student how can we tell him that we are there for you we can solve your problem you can come to us for your issues how can we do that see in uh, our school we have this culture wherein the teachers and the student who share a wonderful rapport oh. and they have an excellent bond hmm. a child who des- uh, who needs a counseling who needs a career counseling who needs a moral support emotional ba- uh, support they always reach out to their teachers and they are available so we used to get calls even at midnight hmm. the child is hyper the child needs somebody to talk to and believe me all my teachers were available for their children we focus we bring about to the various universities in the campus so that our children are aware of their opportunities that is available across and we also are very proud to share our children have opened their own startups even in this age yes okay. and i'm very proud of that fact okay yes nice they have their own startups and they are doing very well in those startups they are writing papers their research papers are being published by the various magazines yes yeah. but i would say it's a team effort yeah of course of yeah. course so वैसे तो लास्ट क्वेश्चन था लेकिन हम इस चीज से एक और सवाल आया कि जो इतना कॉम्पिटिटिव वर्ल्ड हो गया है अगर हम इंडिया की भी बात करें इतना कॉम्पिटिशन है हर चीज़ में आप किसी भी फील्ड में जाते हो छोटे से छोटा बच्चा अपना बेस्ट देने की कोशिश कर रहा है लर्न की कोशिश कर रहा है तो आपको नहीं लगता कि कहीं ना कहीं जो फ्रीडम थी जो एक फ्री माइंड था वो कहीं ना कहीं हम पीछे छोड़ते जा रहे हैं रेस में रेस में आगे आने के चक्कर में अपना करियर बनाने के चक्कर में कहीं ना कहीं वो एक जो मासूमियत थी जो इनोसेंस थी जो खेलने कूदने की उम्र थी अगर हम कहें तो वो पीछे छूटती जा रही है Uh, I wouldn't agree with that, okay. for the reason that in GD Goenka Sector 22 Rohini, mm-hmm. we are very particular that there is no pressure of academics. Oh. Like I said, mm-hmm. we bring in the activities inside the classroom. Though mm-hmm. the child is learning by doing, mm-hmm. he is playing. He doesn't even realize that he has learned so many things. Yeah. When you have the junior children. we have those scales and uh, you know hop stops made on the floor so that they are zigzag the movement is zigzag but they are going number wise they are counting they are doing it but they are not realizing they have learned a concept yeah, yeah, yeah. so their innocence is retained थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग विद अस मैम फॉर टेलिंग अस द थिंग्स मे बी हमारी जो ऑडियंस है वो नहीं पता कर पाती है एजुकेशन के बारे में लोग इतना पढ़ना नहीं चाहते हैं तो जी डी गोइंग का पब्लिक स्कूल सेक्टर 22 रोहिणी में अभी बैठे थे ऐसे ही एजुकेशन की जानकारियाँ ऐसे ही एजुकेशन के मुद्दे हम आप तक पहुँचाते रहेंगे बने रहें नेशनल लाइफ के साथ